Now that we've all become totally reliant on Zoom for video communications, we're starting to figure out that what makes us look professional and gorgeous in an in-person setting is a little different than what makes us awesome on Zoom. My name's Anna Runkle. I'm gonna give you 10 tips for looking great and making an impact when you're using Zoom. I'm gonna do this by starting how we all start, like this with my camera looking up at me, like pretty much right up my nose in the most unflattering way because it's on a desk in front of me. So number one is use a pile of books or a box like this one and put it under your laptop or your device like that and get it just right up there above your eye line. Number two, mute your camera when you have to walk around. It's really distracting for everybody to try to look at you like this. And if there's a lot of noise around you, mute your mic so that people don't have to listen to this while you're talking or this or this or this or this. You guys, I told you to turn off the TV. Number three, get away from these drab walls and seat yourself in front of a background. Number four, get some space behind you. See how nice angles can be? But pay attention to what is actually behind you in the shot. Things like this and that. Number five, let some window light come onto your face. You can actually use a sheer fabric or a blind so that you have some diffused light. Number six, wear some color. It brightens that little square that is your entire Zoom universe, at least what other people can see of you. Number seven, if you're a person who wears makeup, wear makeup. It looks pretty and it makes your eyes and your expressions easier to see. Number eight, you know that phrase, the clothes make the man or woman in this case? Well, on Zoom, as long as you don't stand up, it's only your top half that makes you, so make the most of it. In a head and shoulders shot, open necklines like this, they make you look a bit naked. And kind of floppy, gauzy fabrics and ones that have logos or wrinkles on them, they can look too casual. Go for fabrics that give you texture and crispness, like in collars. Number nine, use a quality microphone if you possibly can, and use ear pods or headphones like these so that you can screen out room noise. I... <laughs> and number 10, if you really must look at your phone or open another window to sneak some work in, don't forget, we can still see you. So don't do this, don't do this. So just like in real life, sit up straight, give the speaker your full attention and refrain from making noise while they're speaking like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let them know that you're listening with your facial expression and your body language because that's what helps people like you and trust you and feel connected. And that is how to be awesome on Zoom.